What is up guys, Sam here. I know I've been away for a little bit, but I finally decided to come out of my little vacation. Uh, very sad time. And I have yet to look at certain things like uh, Hextra, BitGlare, Dave War. I've seen the email. I've gotten all kinds of crazy texts. But uh, we're going to do that together right now. We're going to see where it's going and maybe talk about what may happen next what have you so this will be probably my lending update or last lending update because uh probably might just have to focus on other things and get back to the roots so stay tuned after this intro All right, guys. Sam here. Hope you like that little intro. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's look at Hextra. I haven't been on Hextra in quite some time, actually. Let's get the authenticator out. We will get that authentication going on. Let's see what we got going on over here. It says Hex was at 42.28, which is amazing because if you guys remember like a couple weeks ago, we could go, I'll put that video in here, it's actually right above you. Right now you can click on that and come back or click on that after this is done. It was sitting there bouncing around from the 16 to 20. It would not do anything like it was pretty upsetting. So here we are, it's at 41.97 and back then it had locked us out from uh, withdrawing so let's see if it's still doing that will it let us withdraw now let's see what's going on with that that'll be a uh, kind of interesting to see and it's kind of surprising that Hextra is still afloat out of the other ones actually compared to all the other things that were going on oh look at that And I'm actually kind of curious as to what is going on with everybody else right now. Are they like jumping on to the platforms that are still out there? Have they just moved on? It seemed like the vibe I was getting really from everyone else right now was like, you know, they don't want nothing to do with it. Um, they're all pulling out. They think they're all sinking ships, all the lending platforms. I mean, guys, you got to remember that uh, BitConnect did good for whole year and you know did what they did I'm not gonna make a comment about that it, it sucks I believe that you know if the coin value is going down or there were issues with the public and the marketplace I think personally they should have just wrote it out you know if the value of the coin went down as long as the people were holding it it still wouldn't have depreciated at the rate that it was because people would have still been happy to hold it you know, if you agree, let me know in the comments below. And matter of fact, pause. Go ahead, stop. Go down there. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. Do that before you go down there and start bashing the connect in my comments, alright? Appreciate you guys. But let's see right here if Hexer will let me go ahead and move this over. Let's see if we can't get it out. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we can't get it out. Sell it. Get it out of there. It don't look like it's letting me uh get it out of there, guys. And Bitcoin is back at ten thousand that make 
sitting there looking glorious. Let's see, they said the minimum was 2-3. The minimum's 2-3, that would put it at $23.96. Then I'll try one more time. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they just stopped it altogether for the, uh, the time being to try to hold on the best they can. I mean, Dave Moore, they're doing their thing and they weren't doing that. And you see what happened. Okay, so it's not letting me do it. And at this point, it kind of upsets me because, like, yeah, I should have just left that money sitting there in the uh, US dollars because now if you know this price right here goes down at all I'm gonna take a hit but you know so be it matter of fact let me try one more time we will try one more time have that extra's not let me sell. Let me see if I can fill someone's buying order. Even at half price. Just to try to get some Bitcoin out of here. See what happens. That's it, that's what we got going on with Hexer. Boom. All right, let's move over to Blick Glare. Let's take a look at Big Glare. Now, Big Glare, man, they had this like Supreme Lending thing going on and did a video about that. I, I, I'm really upset, I mean, I worked hard on that thumbnail. Like, I worked really hard on that thumbnail. And uh, a lot of you guys liked it. A lot of people join. I mean, a lot of us did. We're like, okay, well, we'll even get the tokens, even if it never hit the $50 piece mark, why not? But I guess due to speculation in the market and just people's uh, unwillingness to trust after the whole uh, BitConnect and then recently Hextra on the 7th. Let's see where we're at. BCG. ICO. Let's see where this ICO stage is. This one's seven out of three. And I got some coins in there. I always put a little bit in. See what happens, All right? It's still going on. So after reviewing feedback from investors all around the world, we would like to announce the ICO. That from ICO stage 7 on, our maximum purchase limit will be 4,000 BGC per stage. Don't miss a chance. ICO stage 7 starting with 130 BC, BGC. New registration sub entire to five free coins worth $53 for lending purposes. Airdrop Bitcoin Gold, first and large, pre lending. Launch 10 to 15 days after ICO. Now they sent out like an email saying that they weren't going to do that anymore. So I don't understand why they haven't made that announcement or uh, what's going on with that. No messages, no alerts. Let's go to their like actual, let's see if we can pull up their website uh, or their uh, telegram real quick and see if we can get somebody talking. Someone who's been following them. I mean, we could pretty much go on their Facebook as well. And we can go to their Facebook, Big Glare. Facebook. There's a page, 57K people on it. 
While we do that, I have Telegram on my phone actually. So let me go ahead and get on Telegram on my phone. Okay, so I'm here in the bit clear. I'm here in the BitGlare coin ICO Telegram. Right, I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There it is. Move that over. Right, it's ICO 73. At the bottom, you'll see this little thing says mute. They're actually not letting anybody post, they've stopped posting. Which is pretty messed up. It's pretty upsetting, but they, you know. Those of you who follow me here, you know, uh, we put out the message February 8th. Dear investors, after much consideration, the Supreme Lending Program shall be revised to Supreme Staking to comply with the current regulatory framework and benefit the community long term. Do take note that the feature of the Supreme Staking will almost be similar with the lending program with some changes on the payback to weekly basis and in the form of BTC. Full details will be disclosed as soon as we wish to ensure the program. So it's like, right now it's almost like they're, they're stalling for time. You know, it gives them time to come up with something. Yeah. You know, again, well, luckily we got into the ICO, so can't be too mad. I'm on here just looking. There was a, another big glare. Community. Okay, this one is uh, 276. If you guys want to join that, just go to Big Glare Coin Community, and you'll see there right now they're talking about the tech. And they're talking about uh, okay. Zook and Tino are very legit and great platforms, working perfect. Tino especially pays the regular BTC. So these guys are actually talking about other lending platforms and. Zootcoin was one we did too. So now that we know what's going on, BitGlair, they're still waiting. There still hasn't been an update on that. Right? Here's that Dear Investors message, guys, if you want. Put that right there right now. So for you guys, if you guys want to see that Dear Investors message, all right, go ahead. Pause this right now and then you can read it and push play and then you'll be caught right up to us, okay? Okay, cool. Now that you're caught up, everybody's caught up. If you're not caught up, uh, you can go back and check it out later. <laughs> Pretty much, again, yeah, they don't know what they're going to do yet. They haven't changed the uh, Supreme Lending. It's going to be called Staking. Supreme Staking. So, I mean, yeah, they haven't taken the page down or nothing. It's all still there. So, oh, but it's blacked out, so or darkened rather. So, you can see they're going to have to. Uh... There's that yawning. They're going to have to do something with that. Let's go check out Zook, guys, because we are in Zook as well. I'm pretty happy they actually mentioned that. I had forgotten all about it. I don't even know why I forgot all about it. But I did forget all about it. So here we are. Zook. Remember, Zook coin was doing that land at five dollars per Zook. So if you had any coins, it was five dollars. It's only seventy. It was only seventy cents to get get each one. It was less when they started doing. I was looking at the thirty cent mark. Um, but in essence, they were letting you loan it at the five dollar rate. How they're letting you loan something at a five dollar rate when it's only worth seventy cents? I have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead. I will go back actually to the Telegram and ask them if they are not letting you remove your uh, BTC from Zook. Um, has Zook stopped BTC withdrawal? Because with that, that five dollars per Zook, that's pretty much um, it's pretty much only uh, 
blending. I'll put it alone. So there I did put Hazuk uh, stop BTC withdrawal. We're gonna see what these guys gotta say. Um, these guys are still going on. They're going to hedge connect. I mean, guys, if you want to join the chat to hear about some other ones, you can go ahead. But I think I'm pretty much good right now on uh, lending. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my actual ICO investments that uh, help the tech or the coins like the LTC hard fork coming up which has led to Litecoin jumping 50% so you guys will see that I'll do a video on that in a little bit so here's zoo coin right, so let's see like some people are still buying a massive 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 amount of zook this was the ICO right here Especially if it's something that's doing really good in the lending because no one's thinking about the few cents they're thinking you know one percent two percent a thousand dollar rate is, is whatever it makes the sense not long anyway so let's go over here keep yawning i have no idea okay here's the interest history actually doesn't even show what type of interest I don't like that I wish it would show the actual percentage so okay let's see right here next three days interest rate 1% 1.3 and 0.99 today's interest rate was 0.41 and no idea no idea man we don't know what's gonna happen we kind of do, so it knows what happened, but, you know, let's not, well, let's hope not. I would love to see these uh, things continue to do well. Alright, so in the lending, I've got 15.81, so let's go ahead over here. Oh, wow, and it's uh, giving, making me take them at the $5 mark, too, so... It's not just giving it to me at the 70 cent one. So there it is, the $15. And they're making me do the ones and views for us. Okay, so here it is. This is the secret right here. This is how they're doing it. It's pretty, and it's pretty fucked up. But one Zook is right now only worth 70 cents. They're making me pay the equivalent of five dollars per zoo. Five dollars for something that's only worth 70 cents. If any of you are watching this right now, stay away from Zook. Don't get into Zook. This is like worse than banking um, and credit scores pretty much just like what they do with the American dollar. And uh, before they took us off the gold standard. Stay away from it guys. You just, made me, you just watched them make me pay $5 for something that's only 
what is that? 70 cents. Maybe pay $5 for something at 70 cents. Nah, bro. Not cool. Not cool at all. Just refresh. Let's see what else I got going on. It's like at this point, I'm just doing this to, uh, just to make the videos and I guess it hopes if anyone comes around and sees it, that they can take something out of it, you know, like, I know before I really got into it, I was watching a lot and binge watching and binge watching. Right now we're locking in a day war. Alright, here we are, we're on, we're on that. Yo, three cents. to be a dad could billionaire yo three cents y'all want that I want that in my life let's see what else we got going on right now you guys remember that girl who did like the two hundred thousand uh, dollar loan I don't know if you guys remember that girl I'm about to go like find the video for you guys and show you like, yo, I'm not making this up but if someone did like a 200000 dollars alright well that's Dav that's it I wish it was when I was at the 180 mark but it's not let's go to YouTube real quick let's find a $200,000 Dave World loan I know someone else did like a $100,000 Dave World loan and it kind of went like viral um, more so I think he had his own channel the girl, she actually just sent the video to someone, uh, to someone's channel. But like I say before, uh, with these, you guys just want to go ahead and pretty much get in on the ICO and get out of your semester on these things. Okay, here you go. I guess it's on Aaron St. Hilaire's. He calls himself the landlord. He was famous for that. I don't know if you guys remember that. And so this is his. He did like a lot of live streaming too. Like a whole lot of live streaming. Like he would do hours and hours of live streaming. Some of these look really crappy too, so I mean, <laughs> but, and then he did them. And it looks like he just pretty much posted here about the loan. Didn't actually even show it. Yep, that's it. Didn't even show it, but that's pretty much all of the lending that I was involved in. Um, except, uh, you know, obviously other than BitConnect. And again, uh, I, th I really feel like these guys are just getting out to get out while they can do their money. You know, get as much money as they can do, and it really upsets me. Um, a lot of people put their hard-earned money into this, and 
like they just had that what is it a hundred thousand dollar loan thing on day four if you do that hundred thousand dollar giveaway and all of a sudden now you shut down so it's like oh you pump the price up real quick so you can take more when you go it's kind of messed up but that's all I got for you guys let me know how you guys are doing I hope everyone is good as always follow me on Instagram Facebook um, if you guys don't know what other options you have out there like such as mining uh, other ICOs like Goa just shoot me an email uh, or shoot me a message or just comment and someone else will comment but you've got other options as well also for all of you that interested in getting your free Bitcoin if you guys want to go ahead and get a free Bitcoin the link is in the description go ahead to decentralized nation and get your free Bitcoin all you have to do is just play shipping and handling.